Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to find, um, let's see, the total surface area and the volume of a pyramid. And now when you find the volume and the total surface area of a pyramid, it really doesn't matter what your uh, base is, all right? Um, because here I'm gonna find the area and the total surface, I'm sorry, the volume and the total surface area of a rectangle pyramid. And that means that my base is a rectangle. But it doesn't matter if it is a, uh, you know, a hexagon or an octagon or a triangle. You either, no matter what your base is, all you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. So for my problem, I need to find what you're going to do is you're going to find the perimeter of the base. So if a rectangle, the perimeter base is two times your length plus two times your width. However, it can be the perimeter, whatever your base is, just find the perimeter of the base and then add it to the area of the base. Um, Where did my example go? That's not the correct answer the problem is done. Right, times one length. I know I'm rattling. Um, per our base, take my perimeter of my base and I also need to multiply it by my length okay so my length is going to be the length of one of my sides all right and then the last thing I need to make sure I do is also multiply it by one half right. there we go now I got it so the total surface area is going to be one half times my length which is the length of a side from the base to the tip times the perimeter of my base in this example my perimeter is a rectangle so that's it times the area of my base, which is um, uh, length times width. So let's go and figure this out. So I have my total surface area. Remember, total surface area is the area all the way around that encompasses my whole um, figure. So total surface area is going to be 1 half times my length, which in this case would be 8, times 2 times length, which would be 6. 2 times 3, I'll just do 2 times 3. Uh, plus 2 times my width, which would be 4, plus 4, 3 times 4. So just doing a little math here. This gives me 4 times 6 plus 8 plus 12. This becomes uh, you know 14, which is going to become 56. Well, 6 plus 8 is 14. Uh, times 4 is going to become 56 plus 12, which equals... 68. So that's going to be my total surface area. To find the volume, it's kind of the exact same thing. Um, what remains the same is the one third and the height. What's going to change is depending on what your base is. Here, my area of my base again is a rectangle. So I'm just going to find the area of my base, which would be length times width. If it was a triangular base, it'd be one half length times width, right? Um, so here, I'm just going to do volume equals length times width, which would be or one third. So I do three times four times my height. Now, remember eight was my length of my side. So my height is gonna be how tall is my figure, which in this case is seven. So three times four is 12. Three times, uh, one third times 12 is four. Four times seven equals 28. And that's how you find the total surface area and the volume of a, uh, of a pyramid with a rectangular base.